Vanakatakabatosia. I break that covenant. I break that covenant. Every covenant that was entered into on my behalf. In the name of Jesus. I break it tonight. In the name of Jesus. Now I want you to address every monitoring demos that was set on assignment in your life. Listen. I was telling that same guy, yes, I, I, I met a woman, a, a, an elderly woman, an old woman, many years ago, precisely around 2008, while I was doing the research for my book, I asked her a lot of questions. And uh, I asked her this question, she told me a story about herself. She told me of the fact that she lived with an aunt of, of hers, and there were other others um children that also lived with her and she and aunt love her so much and the aunt live to a, a, a an old to me to be an old woman a very old woman and and because of um her love for her and she, the old woman said the aunt said to her i will I will give you something before I die. And then uh, she didn't know what to what to look out for. And then one day the aunt called her and said, Go and step on that stove. She showed her a stone and said, Step on the stove. And she st st stepped on the stove. She stood on the stone and the aunt, aunt gave her water and said, Bait on the stove. And she baited on the stone. And the aunt, on her dying bed, gave her the stone and said carry go hear this it is believed that it was that stone that protect her that gave her the longevity so this woman at the time she was talking to me she was about 80 it is something she died at i think about 93 or something now why she was also growing very very old life became very tough that she needed to die she prayed for death death refused to come she gave herself to many things so that she could die she could not die and then they started looking for the stone the children started looking for the stone the the, the place where they kept the stone some persons have gone there and played with the stone and took the stone away they look for the stone they look for the stone this woman became a, a mess to the family because why she also had there's a demon that was in her and that demon was using her to destroy things in the family using her to destroy so a lot of people in the family were tired of her and they wanted her to go they confined her in a room a room that they would give her i think food once a day or twice i remember yeah i remember i, I also went there to because i because of my um uh, philanthropic gesture i also went there to see her after telling me all this story i also went there to see her i buy drinks for her you know like that you know she will she was in that room they thought she was going to die she didn't die why because somebody gave her a stone i don't know how i left for a very long time many years many years passed they called me and told me the woman was dead it it, it pains me I don't know how it happens, whether they find the stones and destroy the stone. What I'm trying to tell you is that as long as somebody enters into a covenant with you, with demons, no matter what, you need to break the, the, the covenant. If you don't break the covenant, forget about it, no matter what anybody says to you. You know why? You don't pray the way you should, and your prayers is not connected to the world that should break it what you don't have what you are ignorant of you can never solve it that's what we are dealing with in this program the things that you are ignorant of listen if you have your own key will you be will you be negotiating with your door no way if you have a key to your door all you need to do is to incite the key and open the door but if you don't if you don't have the key if you might have a key and the key is not the right key all you need to do is to go and look for the right key or you break the door breaking the door will cost you more but if you get the right key you incite it 
and break it and, and open it, it will open unto you. What am I saying? If the right word of God is in you, it is a matter of speaking the word continuously. You continue to say it until the, the doors are open. That's what I'm telling you tonight. That's why you need to pray. I'm giving you this so that you, when you begin to pray on your own, you know what you are praying for. Discover what was given to you. Ask your mother. Ask people around you. What was given? What was given to me? What covenant? As my mother, my father enters into a covenant, a woman was robbed. And when the Ambrobar came to her house and robbed her, she vowed. That's what I was told. Because I, I came into the scene later and they told me the story. And the woman vowed, it will never happen again. And then she went out and dug a lot of things in the house. And now she died. Everybody that lives in that house struggled. Everybody that, she was a very wealthy woman. Very wealthy. Every, including tenants, even pastors, church, anybody that lives in that house, they all struggle. Students struggle. Everybody in that house. Why? Because the demon that was meant to protect that house, nobody is servicing it. All you need to do is, all the children need to do is break it. Make a demand. Make a demand. Get an olive oil and anoint that house and command the demon to quit and they will leave. That is how it is. It is the word of God. It is the word of God. I'm giving you another scripture right away. Here it is. Psalm 60, Psalm 78, verse 66. And he smote his enemies in the hinder part. He put them to a perpetual reproach. You need to smooth them. You need to kill them. You need to destroy them. And put them into a reproach. Those things that are giving you reproach, that are reproaching your life, you need to put them into reproach tonight. Are you ready to pray? Say, my Father, my God, lift up your voice wherever you are hearing the sound of my voice. Say, my Father, my God, I ask tonight in the name of Jesus, arise, O God, let every covenant be broken. Every covenant that my father, that my mother, that my uncle, that my aunt, that my stepbrother, stepsister, stepfather, stepmother entered into, my grandfather, my grandmother entered into that is bringing reproach into my life. Father, let it be broken. Let it be broken by the blood of Jesus. I evoke the blood of Jesus over everything that holds covenant with me that I do not know of. Father, the only covenant I know is the only is the covenant of the blood of Jesus that is in my life. Father, let the covenant of the blood of Jesus break every covenant that I was that I have, have entered into ignorantly. Father, let the covenant be broken. Let that covenant be broken. In the name of Jesus, open your mouth and pray. She come back where tell it. 